Hi guys, uh, my name is Dr. Morales. Um, I'm a Houston plastic surgeon and uh, I'm just doing a series of uh, demonstrations demonstrations of different uh, devices that I use in my practice. I'm talking specifically about breast augmentation. Um, I use a device called the Keller Funnel and this is what it looks like. Okay, And it's designed just strictly for silicone breast implants. And the whole purpose of it is to streamline and make the, the process of implanting a silicone implant uh, safer, less traumatic to the implant itself. Um, it's a lot easier on me rather than you know using an incision that this big and pushing my fingers to put the implant in. You push it in like that. Um, because silicone implants, remember, they come pre-filled. So it's sealed. This is how it comes from the manufacturer. So you have to get this volume within these you know, small incisions. Well, that's what this device does. It helps us do that process. Um, this is a first generation product. Um, the second generation is actually clear and the fabric is a little more stretchy. Um, these, this is the first generation. It has marks based on how, um, uh, how big the implant is based on volume um, to facilitate the implantation for the breast augmentation. And so for me, I use this implant for, always, for silicone implantation always. Um, I think it's safer and it uh, speeds up the, the uh, process of the implant. And again, it reduces the stress placed on the implant itself. So what you do is, this is all done sterilely. This comes in within a sterile for surgery. Um, the implant's brought into the operating room fair, field sterilely, and this is just for demonstration purposes. But what you do is you cut the, the uh, funnel based on the size of the implant. So this implant's 430 cc's. It's an ultra high profile implant, which means that it's a little bit taller than most implants. And the base, or the footprint of the implant is smaller, and so the volume goes up. And so in the body, it looks more like that, okay? So to, to make this happen, what we do is I use sterile saline. So I'm gonna just use some water to kind of recreate that. But you lubricate the inside of it. The inside of this implant, I mean, of this uh, funnel, is, uh, has a very, very slick surface. And so it facilitates the sliding process. So you take the implant, again, this is done sterilely, and you put it within the funnel, like this. And you kind of make sure it's all lubricated. Okay? And you can see the implant in there. And then what happens is that I put it into the patient, and I squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then you can see the implant coming out. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then there goes the implant, and it goes into the body, okay? And so that's how the process works. Um, this funnel is used only one time, so it's done for both sides. And so this is thrown away. The implants went in the body, and then I can just kind of, mid, you know, just adjust and make sure the position is correct. But the process is a lot less stressful on me. It's a lot less stressful on the implant itself. Um, and again, this, this is... Uh, I think this is the, the best way to do uh, breast augmentation. That's how I incorporate my practice. So anyway, let's just want to just demonstrate that to you. And uh, if you have any questions, you can find more information on drmoralesplasticsurgery.com or give us a call 713-354-5119. Thanks again, guys. Thanks.